What is going on guys? We are back with another video. Here we have my friend Dylan's. I don't know what year car this is. He actually bought the shell of this car out of the yard over here. I sold it to him for a hundred bucks. Came with the title and he built this monster. Coyote Swaps, he picked up the Gen 1 F-150 motor from us. It's got a Holley stock 245 trans yep. and it has independent rear suspension. You guys are looking, I got two of those in stock. Hit me up. But Holly Terminator X, we got the PCT controller, which uh, I'll give you guys some thoughts that I have on it a little bit later once we uh, get into it. But it's a stock truck motor, oil pump gear, crank gear, truck cams, Boss Manny, swap long tube headers, uh, E85. So we're gonna see what it makes. Uh, this is Holly, we're gonna be tuning it. Um, I actually got uh, a lot of my you know start on tuning Holly on the race car. This thing, NA, super easy. Um, I went actually went over to Dylan's house and we yeah, fired we it up. It was, it was the second try because this guy forgot to turn on the fuel pump, but. All right, you got oil in it? Yeah, got oil, got coolant. He's got everything, I think we're pretty All fucking right. set. Let's do it. Wait, you didn't plug the fuel pump in. Hey, we should probably plug the fucking Come fuel pump. Come on, I'm like. I'm like, man, why has it got no fuel? <laughs> hey, I bet you it'll start better if you put fuel on it. Yeah, it might like a little bit of fuel. A little test spin over. I'm like, fuel pressure zero, bud. All right, we got fuel pressure now. Nice. Okay, let's try this again. Ready? Yep. yep. Started right up, grabs, you know, all worked pretty well. It's stupid how easy Holly makes it. Like, straight yeah. up. Like, it was just like, boom. Well, it, like, it helps that I put the two oh, in it. It also I'm, helps you were like, hey, your TPS sensor's bad. And I'm like, huh, that would have really hung me up. Yeah, I've done a lot of these and uh, I tune a lot remote too. If you guys are interested in getting remote Holly tuning or MS3, um, I do, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one, team view recession. We get the car started up, idle, revving, drivability, and then wide open throttle. Um, Dylan happens to be close, so we decided to stick it on the dyno. So we're gonna see what she makes. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a drift car. I will be happy with anything more than three hundred. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the old setup was probably the two valve was like two sixty, and that was like, oh, come on, clutch, we're gonna keep kicking you till you break the wheels loose. Yep. Hopefully, so. we see some good torque, uh, truck cams, like I said. Um, so it'd be, it'd be actually cool if we got into the fours for torque because that be that's cool. what you're going to be using anyways. Yeah, the, you know, torque will put your butt in the seat, you know yep. what I'm saying? We'll go show this guy off. Bam! Boss Row 2 AccuFab throttle body. Does your hood stay up like that? No, that's going to fall. I know, I'm just saying that. Actually, you'd be surprised how stable we got, we got the old stick, dude. So, looking pretty good. Full drift spec cage, hydro, holly dash. We're gonna go plug in this and start making some rips. What'd you make on your first dyno pole? Uh, 130 horsepower, you know, good old. Hey, that's, that's half of a two though, right there. Dude, coyotes, man. So we laid Damn. into it. It didn't even go full throttle. It just broke the throttle cable. It so. didn't even break. Uh, it looks like one of the grub screws backed out and fell out, and then it just let the cable slip out. So we're gonna go get another grub screw for it and reattach it and actually make some power this time. Yep.
Uh, it's pretty much tuned. It's not yeah. making crazy horsepower, but it's it's, it's good. I think it's around 360, 370. Um, I got all the fuel tuning done, so, so fuel set. I'll probably trickle in a little bit of timing, see if it picks up. See and uh, yeah, Never. but really just giving it some cool down time because a lot of times when I'm tuning, uh, especially on these standalone ECUs, I can tune, tune, tune while the engine's running and it doesn't have a lot of cool down time. So um, it's a good idea to kind of get everything close, let it cool down and then start chasing, you know, any sort of power or trying to chase. At the end of the day, high threes is, is very fun in, you know, this car. It's going to be um, perfect for what I'm using it for. So. Yep. And it, it is a truck motor with truck cams with a boss mani. That's actually potentially really not the best manifold for this application. Potentially. Until we but put, it looks cool. Until we put a supercharger on it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't I'm really... I'm sure it's a matter of time with how bad of an influence you are. Yep. Yeah. Might you convince have, you to build I, a... I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to get one on trade, and you're like, hey, look what I just picked up. And I'm going to be like, oh, that's neat. And you're like, you should put it on your car. I'm like, damn, you're kind of right. Well, it's either that, or it might convince you to build a high-compression Gen 3 one, one combo. So it'll be a 12 to 1 compression, you know, cammed lockout. Just a stupid. Yeah, so, so you can leave this one in here, and then we'll go from making 360 to like 500 wheel NA. And we'll rev that bitch to 8,500. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah. Let her, let her eat. Exactly. All right, so the best so far, which is this is pretty much all the timing, nice, rich uh, air fuel ratio running an 83 Lambda. 368 378 we're gonna let it cool down give it one last rip but we found that the uh, intake here was robbing of about 10 horsepower and there's a little rain uh guard on it i saw that right away uh, made huge differences in the the power band just taking the intake off so he might rethink that but that is a beneficial thing if he's you know drifting in the rain um but we decided to do some testing over the throttle body see uh, how much power we can make one last cool down, see what she does, and then uh, I guess a burnout, right? Oh, for sure. Let her eat. Yep. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> I thought you were coming over to jump it because it was doing something that wasn't supposed to. No, you're good. Oh, my. Okay, final numbers. 371, 380. Now, some YouTube commenters might be like, there's not a lot of power for a coyote. Um, truck cams. Truck cams, yep. We don't have control over VCT. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest problems. You see that we still have this this nice taper, but um, we don't have control over VCT. And that's my gripe with the VCT controller. But it's nice that you were able to kind of just plug in. You didn't have yeah, to buy $1,000 lockouts and degree the cams. Drop it off to get degreed. I don't have to do any of that. And then, so. It definitely works, but... Yep. Um, there's definitely some gains to be had in some uh, VCT, but also just changing out the cams. But It's not that crucial here. You were making 380 torque, 370. We got a nice broad power curve, and I think it's going to drift phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Um, or, so, or, or, it's going to rip. It's going to yeah. rip. So truck motor, truck cams, you know, truck compression, boss manifold. The boss manifold. It's torquey. I like the torque. I would be curious to see what yours would do with an 18 truck manifold. It would probably make over 400 torque. God damn. I have one here, too. You just want to experiment now. We'll, we'll, we'll probably test again. And right. Comment down below if you guys want to see a truck manifold test. Fair minimum, that. let me get through these next couple events. Yeah, the boss we'll manifold try. looks sick. So um, the truck manifold, I mean, it's it's black, but like it's not going to look that cool. But Well, the problem is I cut the hole in the hood for the boss manifold, so we put a truck <laughs> manifold back on. It's a little wonky. But I think with truck cams and the 18 truck manifold, it might actually make over 400, like 420 torque or something like that. Good thing I know a guy I can get a new hood from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, the burnout was semi-successful. The car just is just feeling the car out. I don't. I didn't. I got weirded out by the, how the clutch was acting, and I was like, I don't want to blow this up two days before a private day. So I'm gonna do some street pools, get a little more comfortable, and get a better burnout before I. Yep. Get it registered too. You know, that's it's not an idea. It's a trailer princess. Okay. <laughs> It'll be legal. It'll yep. be legal. But. Yep, three seventy one, three eighty. Definitely a big pickup over the two valve. Oh yeah, two valve is not not anywhere near that ferocious. Yeah, I mean that's well over a hundred wheel probably over where the two valve was. And I've got 
headroom for future games like you know if i wanted to put a supercharger on it or something yeah and you have 1500 more rpm of, of 50, usable. A, the 15 more hundred is big because wheel speed in second before with the two valve was like 70 ish on the same 373 gear set and now you're gonna be and 90 I'm, plus I'm like, i think with the three i did 373 specifically because with the t45 splits it does like 88 second which is on the skid pad 80 is the goldilocks zone Yep. So it lets you, you're not spinning them so fast that, because at some point your wheel speed gets so high that you're basically burning the tire off faster than it can grip at all, period. And you just wash out completely. What's nice when you, when you nail the wheel speed is you have enough wheel speed where you can step on it and get the car to carry and float, but not so much that it wants to wash out, but not so little it's gripping up and you can't put any angle in it. It's a balancing act of wheel speed. That's why you'll see so many drift guys with winners quick changes because they want to sit there and fine tune gears constantly. Yep. So. Well, if you guys want to get cars tuned, Holly, Stock ECU, MS3, whatever, Motec, hit me up. You guys want to drift? Hit this guy up. We're going to have some fun. First day driving stick.